and uh, good good morning to you all um, over in Spain. Um, I'm coming to you today from Canberra in Australia, so it's evening time here. Um, so I'm just going to provide a short update on the Committee on Data and Information Systems. Uh, so as a bit of background, as highlighted on the uh, GGOS webpage, the objectives of the committee had been to develop and implement a portal and metadata system with a longer term focus on the development of GeoCML. Um, GeoCML provides a standard way of sharing and encoding geodetic data and metadata. Um, recently, the focus of the committee has been on supporting users to maximize the potential of our geodetic data uh, through the implementation of FAIR principles. Uh, and with a key deliverable of the committee being the ongoing enhancement of GeoCML. Um, aligned with the committee objectives, uh, Geoscience Australia uh, with partners have been progressing a series of activities to ensure GeoCML meets the needs of new users who are applying um, positioning technologies uh, to solve complex and environmental uh, challenges. Um, these activities have included a survey to understand the perspectives of current geodetic data users and identify gaps in the current standards that could inhibit uptake. Um, the results confirm that offering fair GNSS data and services is fundamental, um, but for competent use of them, uh, detailed and relevant metadata needs to be offered to the community. Uh, these findings were published in uh, the recent winter issue of Data Intelligence. Um, following this, uh, survey, uh, we're progressing some work on the creation of customised metadata profiles um, that will be able to be used within GeoCML. Um, the committee over the last few years has been chaired by uh, Nicholas Brown uh, from Geoscience Australia. Nicholas has now stepped down as chair and Elisabetta D'Anastasio from Geno Science in New Zealand has kindly offered to step in as an interim chair. Um, Given that um, change, one thing uh, we're not entirely sure of at the moment is what the current membership of the committee looks like. Um, so this is more a call if you are a member or, or would like to be a member, uh, please reach out to Elizabeth or myself um, and we're going to arrange a, a meeting to kind of reignite the committee and reset some of the objectives um, in the coming months. Uh, some of the ideas on um, or opportunities that we've identified is uh, a revision of GeoCML to ensure ongoing alignment with modern technologies um, and potentially supporting uh, some of the GGOS activities uh, with the upcoming portal. So thank you very much.